As a continuation of Lawn Solutions Australia safety initiatives, the following safety video has been provided for all Lawn Solutions members in conjunction with Insurance House and Reed Consulting Group. Lawn Solutions Australia is committed to working with all of its members and their staff towards a safer and more sustainable turf industry. Insurance House offers farm insurance packages that provide the broadest protection for the best value. Combined with expert risk awareness and insurance market knowledge, they offer specialised farm risk advice for Australian farmers. Through Richard Reid of Reid Consulting Group, Insurance House offer farm, work, health and safety advice to farm businesses across the country. Hi, I'm Richard Reid of Reid Consulting Group and Insurance House. I'm a specialist farm, work, health and safety consultant. In Australia, 3% of the workforce are employed in agriculture. However, 17% of all work deaths occur on farms. That is one in every six deaths. Agriculture, along with the transport industry, are the two highest risk industries in Australia. Safety is important on Australian farms because they are complex and unpredictable places to work as each farm is unique. Serious injuries can have long-term effects for workers and their families. Safe work practices ensure your workers return home each night and also improves farm operations and efficiency. A strong safety culture is one where all workers take responsibility. Strong safety leadership should not only be exercised by senior farm management, but by all workers in the operation. A strong safety culture includes consultation with all workers regarding a safe workplace. This involves identifying potential hazards, then assessing and controlling the risks involved. Effective and clear communication around safety expectations on your farms assist in providing a strong safety culture. Before workers operate machinery, it's important they always read and understand the instructions in the operator's manual and safety decals on the machine. Alongside the operating manual, workers are required to read the individual safe operating procedure tailored for your farm operations. Never operate machinery that is unsafe and has the potential to cause harm. When at work, wear the appropriate personal protective equipment as explained in the operating manual and safe operating procedure. If there is anything in the manual or this video that you do not understand, ask your supervisor or seek clarification from the manufacturer. A risk assessment is a step-by-step -step examination of tasks in your workplace that have the potential to cause harm or damage. A risk assessment should be completed to highlight and control the risks associated with using each individual machine in your unique operating environment. We strongly encourage you to take the safety messages from the following video and apply them to your daily work and farm operations. The following is a safety and induction video for the Kesmac Turf Cutting Machine. Pre-operational checks should be carried out before operating any machinery. These are to be done in accordance with your business WHS policy and reflect the points mentioned in the safe operating procedure and user manual. Operators must read and understand safe operation procedures and operators manuals and be deemed competent before operating this machine. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, that is steel cap boots, protective high-vis clothing, eye protection and hearing protection. Some of the main issues to be aware of when conducting a pre-operational check include checking hydraulic hoses for leaks, cracks or general wear, ensuring all safety guards are in place and in good order, checking the condition of wheels, tyres and fasteners to ensure they are in good working order. Always ensure that the area around and under the machine is clear of people and obstructions before operating any functions. If any of these components are found to be faulty, 
damaged or badly worn, inform your supervisor and never operate machinery if it is not safe to do so. Once the pre-operational checks have been carried out and the appropriate documents filled in, it is time to start the machine. Operators must always use three points of contact when mounting and dismounting from the machine. Follow the startup procedure described in the user manual and never attempt to start the machine in any position other than the driver's seat. If the machine is fitted with a rollover protection device, a seat belt must be worn when operating. Run through the machine functions, checking that all operations are satisfactory prior to moving off or cutting, including emergency stops. Check brake function. Ensure there is a properly positioned rear view mirror and that the audible reversing alarm and flashing light are functioning. The machine is to be driven from the driver's seat only. Failure to do so could result in serious injury or death. The stacker is to remain in the safe zone or stacking platform at all times when the machine is in the cutting sequence. It is recommended that reversing is avoided. If in a situation where reversing is necessary, the stacker is to communicate with the driver and the driver is to stop the machine. Before reverse travel is engaged, the stacker must at all times remove themselves from the stacking platform to a safe location, clear of the machine and in view of the operator. While reversing, the operator is to do so at low speed and is to keep the stacker in sight at all times while steering away from any obstructions in the field. The stacker must not be on the rear of the harvester while transporting in reverse. Safety decals are located on the machine wherever there is a point of potential danger or caution should be used. An operator should be familiar with these decals and ensure they are in good order. The conveyor has many moving parts and pinch points. Operators are to wear appropriate clothes so as not to get entangled and keep limbs and digits clear at all times. The cutting head has many moving parts and a sharp blade for cutting of turf slabs. Keep clear of this area when the machine is operational and ensure correct guarding is in place. If maintenance in this area is required, do so in accordance with the instructions in the user manual and never work on the machine when running or not correctly supported. If the conveyor is raised, secure the hydraulic ram to prevent injury with the locking device provided. The hydraulic system operates under high pressure and should be treated with caution. Never open the hydraulic tank when hot. The cutting sequence adopted will vary from operation to operation depending on the conditions encountered in each individual circumstance. If any process described in the operator's manual is unsuitable for your specific site, the manufacturer should be contacted with the recommended changes to the manual and a safe work method statement must be completed prior to operating the machine. To close out, I would like to reiterate the absolute necessity that you have available and read and understood the operating manual for each of your machines. Not only turf cutters, but all operating machinery on site. Along with these manuals, a safe operating procedure and risk assessment must be in place for each machine tailored to your individual environment. If any of these are not yet a part of your operation, I strongly advise you to include this in your work health and safety program. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. The standard you walk past is a standard you choose to accept. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to working with you in the future to create a safer and more productive work environment for everyone. This video has been produced by Lawn Solutions Australia in conjunction with Insurance House and Reed Consulting Group as a safety initiative for all Lawn Solutions Australia members and their staff.